Okay, so here we've got the new version of the uh, 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 glass touch, which, which we'll re new from uh, MDT. This one has a lot of new functions. Um, it's not only uh, the, the three pages we saw before. You can now create, um, in the three pages, you can create like sub-menus. So you can go uh, in different rooms, you can create their different rooms, and then you can go and select the room and then do the functions in the, in the lo lower one. So say, for instance, this is blinds. You can click there on the blind, and then once you're in the blind, you can go down and select the room, and then you can control the blind of that, uh, of that room. The same you can do with um, the thermostat. You can uh, do the function, you go to the different room, you select the room, and then you can control the, um, the temperature control functions of, of that room, and um, the same with the, all the, the displays. So you can do a total of 20 functions, Okay, so now, additionally to this, uh, this one has also a additional a room uh, temperature regulator inside, okay? And um, you have a time switch function, which you can uh, realize with this. So you can have to up to 20 tw time switch channels to control a time switcher with, with this. So it's a very complete room controller, okay? So if you have a look at this one, this one is the, um, in the new uh, smart touch um, design of uh, you can you can compare it to the room controller they already had in their catalog but it, it looked like it looked different now this one looks like the smart touch with all the functionality of the other room controller okay so here we are in a very interesting panel uh, a new uh, push button from MDT uh, this push button you can control up to four different uh, uh, lights uh, with this. So you've got one, two, three, four different uh, functions which you can do. And uh, what is nice, it's, it's, you can dim the four lights. So if we have a look at the push button, you can select the light and then dim, dim the, the light more or, or less. So this is what makes it unique in the market. Okay, so this is very nice in black and white again, very nice feature. Okay, so um, here we are with a new product and very interesting panel also, um, the uh, Smart 86. Uh, with this one, we have the possibility now not only to have the touch uh, feeling, so not only the touch feeling, you, you um, have now physical buttons, uh, some customers want this feature, they want a physical button to be able to, to press the button and feel that they are making click that they are pressing the button. The, uh, they want this, not only the, the touch, but the real feedback that they are really pressing the button. Okay, so uh, this is the exact same features as the, as the previous one. There's a new firmware so that you can have more functions in it. So now this one can do up to 12 functions in this new firmware. Okay, so we are here in a very interesting panel, DALI, uh, Digital Addressable Lighting Interface, also always a very interesting topic. Um, MDT has some very interesting new products here. Uh, they've got two new uh, devices in this format, which have manual control buttons on top of it. Uh, this one is the 16 channel, 64 ballast uh, DALI gateway. Um, and then they've got the one which is twice this one. So this one, uh, has the double the functionality of that one. It can do two DALI buses, so you can have up to 128 DALI um, ballasts controlled with it, which makes it a very, very interesting product to be able to control two DALI buses. Uh, apart from that, we've got here the, uh, the, the DALI uh, 64, um, where we can control all the, the, the um, 64 ballasts uh, individually. So these ones uh, are in 60 in channels, so we have 16 channel and 32 channel. And this one, you have also the channel functions, but then you have the um, individual ballast uh, control of them. Okay, so here we are in a very interesting panel also. Uh, IP secure, everybody is speaking about uh, the secure, KNX secure, IP secure. Um, MDT obviously also has a solution for that. Uh, they've got uh, these devices all in their catalog. <clears throat> we can have, you can have a later a uh, more in detail look at the devices. So um, please have a read through them, uh, the new IP secure range of MET. 
Okay, so um, here we are also in an interesting panel. What we have here is the LED controller uh, actuator of uh, uh, MDT, where you can control, for instance, RGB uh, lights like these. Uh, what makes it interesting is that their new push button also, which, they, which we, we already presented, uh, is optimized to control these devices. So what you can do is, by pressing in the middle, you can select either to control the um, the uh, intensity of the light or you can control the color of the light and then you can dim the intensity and the color of the light. So let's have a look uh, a little bit more. So if I press there, I, I can uh, control, for instance, the, the um, intensity of the light. Okay, and I can go here and control, for instance, at the bottom, the intensity of the light. Uh, and I can also go um, to, to control the, the color. Okay, in German, color is... Um, so, okay, this is the, the tunable white color. Uh, if I go to this one here, uh, and I want to control the, the color of the, this year, I just control there the different colors. Okay, so uh, this is all optimized to, to be used um, together with this one and this actuator so you can control it very nice. Okay, so um, here we are also in a panel where we, they have introduced the six channel um, heating actuator. They had uh, this one and this one in the market, but this one now is new with the six channels. Okay, so uh, this heating actuators are four, six and eight channels now, so that you can do any kind of um, valve control of the uh, output. So they are, they are uh, electronic outputs, so there are no relay uh, contacts which, which make noise or um, are... Um, uh, having a problem with 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 noise and and uh, the um, lifespan of the of the contacts, so that with these electronic outputs, um, it's much better. Also, they have an integrated PI regulation inside. They have got um, all the typical functions with like PWN functions and optimized for heating control. And um, also, they have a test function, so they they can supervise the the if everything is correctly done the, by, with the installation. Also, um, they, are, they have optimized for the energy um, because uh, what often happens if all of the contacts are, are switched off, you need to switch off the uh, circulation pump um, of the installation. And uh, this usually has to be done with external logic. Now, this is uh, easily done with an additional object. If all the valves are off, this uh, object sends to switch off, for instance, this uh, circulation pump. Okay, so these are the new... Uh, uh, these actuators have been updated in features and uh, this one has been added. Okay, so here we are also in a very interesting panel. What we have here is an um, actuator for, to control blinds, which can be installed in, um, in a wall box. Uh, so it's very small. It, what makes it also special, it has um, a push button interface, four channel. With this push button interface, four channel, you can connect, for instance, um, the, the push buttons to control the, the, bl the blind um, and you can also connect uh, two contacts more to know if the, the window is open uh, or to know if the window is just um, uh, opened like this in the top or it's opened totally the, uh, the window. So with this um, feature what they have done is um, if you want to use it obviously you can make use of it in the ETS and then uh, you don't need to program any logic functions or anything. It, it has this complex functionality in integrated. This means if you open the window, you just open it a little bit, what, what it can do then is it can move the blind just a little bit up. So if you uh, uh, lift the window like that, that usually means you want to get some fresh air coming in into the room. So you don't want to have the blind down at the bottom. So then automatically it goes up a little bit. And if you open the window totally, uh, you usually want to be able to look out of the window. So then you want to have the blind up at the top position. And that uh, it does it all totally uh, automatic. So you don't need to program anything extra. It, uh, if you connect those con contacts, uh, it does it automatically. So you open the window, the blind goes up. Uh, you up keep uh, the window like this, the, the it, uh, fresh air comes in. So this makes this actuator unique in the market. Very interesting. Okay, so here um, MDT has uh, brought out 
uh, the touch screens they had already in the market, but now they are capacitive touch. So this makes this a uh, very nice looking um, touch display. And uh, what, what also is very important is that you can make use of the old projects you had in the installation, for instance, if you had uh, if some of your old devices bre break, you can use uh, the, pr the same project and load it into the new touch, touch display. So you don't need uh, to create everything new from, from the beginning, so you can use that. So that makes it very interesting.